Okay, today we're back, and we're going to talk about the envelope generator. Uh, so that's this red section, or orange, orange. Uh, and you'll see the orange outputs here along the bottom. Uh, so envelope, the first thing it does is, you know, creates an envelope. Uh, so I've got it assigned to the pulsar. When the pulsar goes, the envelope generator goes. And at its most basic, we have attack time, we have sustain time, and decay time. Nice thing about that in conjunction with the low pass gate is that you get a little bit of a filter sweep with the decay. Okay, so that's at its most basic. We can assign the envelope generator to the key, be triggered by the keyboard, the pulsar, or the sequencer. Uh, so depending on how the rest of these get set up, you know, um, you can make some different routings where the sequencer is trig triggering this, but the sequencer is being also triggered itself by the keyboard, which in this case is the make noise touch controller here. Um, we have three modes. We have sustain, transient, and self. What do those mean? So you'll see them in transient here. I go to sustain and nothing happened. That's because the sustain is meant to act from a gate. So if I've got the keyboard um, trigger turned on here, as long as my finger's on the pad, it's sustaining. If I put it in transient, it's going to do whatever the faders here are saying. And you can do some nice live stuff. So we've got, you know, pulses happening, and I'm in sustain mode, and I can quickly flip this switch to keyboard, and then we get back. And I have to push the right actual switch. Right. Uh, so that's the basics. Um, we've got three inputs here, and we can assign different CVs to them. Again, like everything else, this is sort of open, open to your imagination. Here's random. We can put random into the sustain. Right. We could even put sequential. This is inverted. We can put pressure. And you'll notice this is also inverted. That's why this inverter up here comes in handy, because sometimes I find that to be counterintuitive. And then for wild experiments, you can plug the envelope generator back into itself. So, lots of things to try there, and that's the basics. Hope that helps.